Hey everyone, Scott Brown here, Construction Technology Partners out of Kansas City, Missouri. Today I'm going to be doing an overview of our Hemisphere GNSS uh, excavator kit for large and medium sized excavators. That'd be 12 ton and up. So I'm going to show you some of the components and then discuss a little bit about how it installs on the machine. We'll start off here with the Iron One display. It was an 8 inch touchscreen ruggedized display um, that houses our grade metric software. Um, really easy to use. We'll do another video that talks more about the operator interface and how that works. On the back of the display, we've got our connections for power and communication. We've also, under this plate, got the option to install a SIM card. We have a modem where we can have uh, connectivity. USB ports on the side. Uh, really nice, bright display, easy to see in the sun. Um, so that installs in the cab. The kit comes with two different uh, RAM mounting displays. These are hard to see in the package, but they're RAM arms. Uh, one's a U-mount and one's a hard mount. Uh, a lot of these we end up installing with a mag mount system or we fabricate them out depending on the mach machine making model. Something to talk about with this kit that's really nice is this is an indicate system. So really the only thing we're relying on the machine for is power to the power of the components. So it doesn't matter machine, make, model, uh, uh, layout, configuration, size or anything. We'll talk more about the sensors and how those configure and where that plays in a little bit. But the next component we'll move on to we got the VR1000. This is the GNSS receiver. It's a dual receiver. See, we've got the, the dual ports on the back, and then we've got the secondary antenna and the primary antenna. We've got the radio, and then we've got a Bluetooth uh, Wi-Fi port as well. So everything's housed in this. It's a nice, heavy-duty, rugged package. On the front, we have troubleshooting indicator lights that tell us everything about what the unit's seen. Also, we've got a web UI via Wi-Fi that we can log in and check all the status and, and see what, if there is any issues, what's going on, really easy to do. You can do it from your phone, tablet, etc. You can see it's got a mounting plate here on the bottom. You can hard mount this to the machine. The kit also comes with a set of magnets that allows you to mag mount it as well. Makes it real easy. Um, this kit is designed, there's a case that this foam will fit into. If you did want to remove components, you could remove them easily and put back in this case. So those are, Two of our major components, the other components we have are our A46 antennas. These are capable of tracking all signals, all constellations. Um, really nice, small, lightweight package. Uh, really easy, doesn't require a super substantial mount to mount these. Uh, we mount them on handrails or also the kit comes with the aluminum mass mounts. In some instances we use these, in some instances we use a handrail mount. It just really depends on the machine and what the customer prefers to see on their setup. Moving on to the, some of the other components, we've got four sensors here. These are our IMU sensors that mount on the machine. We've, these are Positol sensors, two axis. So we've got one for the boom, the stick, the bucket, and the chassis sensor. Um, there is an optional kit to do tilt bucket that's a, that would add another uh, another set of cabling and another sensor that would allow us to do tilt bucket function. Well, I'm gonna get into wiring and sensor mounting a little bit. First, I wanna talk about simplicity of the wiring. Really what we got here is these four cables is really all that's involved in our wiring. So we start with our power cable. This just goes to the battery, 12 or 24 volt. This cable connects to, we have an extension cable here, allows us to get you know from the battery compartment up to the machine display in the cab. We have this cable that mounts into our V1, VR1000 that connects with this cable. And then all we have to do is connect the Y cable to our Iron 1 display. And that's all the wiring. It's as simple as that. Really easy. Don't have to make really any modifications to the machine to get the wiring done. Very easy to get in and out of the cab and get tied in and, and get a nice clean install. When we get to the antennas, we're using standard coax Cables, really easy to get a hold of. Uh, you know, pretty standard stuff, nothing special or fancy that you're gonna have to, you know, have a hard time finding uh, if something was to happen to them. Um, so basically we just got, all these do is run from the connections on the back of the VR1000 to the A46 antennas. These are 20, I believe 20 foot long. Yep, 20 foot cables. We have them available shorter and longer. The kit comes with the 20 footers. So now the part that I think really that we've done a nice job on is with the sensor mounting. So back to the, the sensors we have to mount. The kit comes with these weld on mounts. We have four of them for each sensor and it comes with one covered sensor mount that is intended to go with the bucket. Um, when we install these kits, we actually add covers to the bucket 
and the stick. And then if the customer prefers, we'll put it on the boom as well, just for a nice clean look. These are powder coated, but we can paint them and match the machine to kind of give that factory installed look. These are really nice weld on mounts where we weld on the inside. We're not leaving any opportunity to create stress risers on the, on the installation there. So makes for a really nice low profile installation where we're not sticking way up and creating an obstruction that could get caught or damaged. In between those sensors to tie them all together, we use these Turk M12 cables. Uh, what I really like about these cables is they're really robust. They're lightweight, flexible, but they're also readily available. It's not a special order cable. You can get these. There's a lot of electrical uh, outfits that carry these as well. You can get them online, but a, you know, low cost cable that uh, is really rugged, but is also easy to replace. And we, the kit comes with several different lengths of these, depending on if it's a medium or large size excavator. We typically tailor these. If we have to, we change out some cables to make sure they fit the machine. So we don't have any bunch of extra slack hanging out on the side of the machine. The VR1000 is equipped with a UHF radio. Sorry, I didn't open this package, but this is just a MagMount antenna base for our UHF antenna. Really easy to get up on top of the cab and mount this antenna. So that pretty much covers everything that's in our Grade Metrics excavator kit. We'll do some follow-up videos on how the operator interface works and installation and calibration. But this is everything you need to get an indicate system installed on a medium to large size excavator.